OK, question four. We've got a matrix X with an A in it we don't know. And we need to find the value for A for which that matrix is singular. So singular trigger word. Uh, you just need to know that decodes. It means it doesn't have an inverse, but it decodes into the determinant of the matrix. It, the matrix is singular when that determinant equals a particular value. Okay, so you need to work out the determinant of this matrix. So there's a formula for the determinant using A, B, C, and D. Okay, A is not in position A, by the way. So you do um, the recipe for the determinant. You say that equals a particular value, and then you solve after a couple of lines of algebra to get what that value A is. Okay, um, and then find the inverse of Y. OK, so we've got a new matrix here. We will need the full method for the inverse. So that starts by finding the determinant of Y. OK, but then you have to do one over that determinant. And then you have to multiply by the matrix formed by rearranging these in the way described in your notes. OK, and then we have got Y mapping A onto B. And they give us the coordinates of the image so as a column vector 1 minus lambda 7 lambda minus 2 okay but we need to work backwards from that okay to the original point a so a maps onto b by multiplying by the matrix y but we need to go the other way so if we're starting with uh, our a coordinates of b as a column vector so if this is the column vector for b and we want that to turn into the column vector for A, the matrix we need to multiply by here isn't the matrix Y, because that would do the other way around. This has to be Y inverse. So if you do the inverse matrix uh, that you found, okay, and apply it to, to B, this was the hint for the method, of course, and you apply this um, to B, then that will take us back to A. And that should see you right for question four.